Art director is a person who is a creative coming from film or advertising. I'm talking about the person who works on set. On set is with a crew of people, with a lot of people trying to do an ad, the ads you see on TV. This is a completely different set of skills. This is not what you learn in graphic design school. So the difference is the art director doesn't need to be a designer. It could be, it could be a designer because we designers have the, the vision, have the eye, and we understand aesthetics. If we are long enough in the industry, we will end up doing some photo shoots and we will end up doing some video film, video advertising. So we can get the experience, it can happen, but for the most part, an art director doesn't need to be a designer which is the big difference. For instance, a photographer can be an art director. Also, a filmographer or a video editor can also be an art director because they also have the eye and the vision and they know what they want to see in the screen. So it is very misused, this term, because it went from coming from film and advertising to going to design schools. And I think this is a mistake and I will explain why. By the way, who did design this project? An art director or a creative designer? The senior designer is uh, a person with more than 10 years of work experience. Please remember this because I know a lot of people that they only have one or two years of experience and all of a sudden they get promoted as senior designers when they are not. Junior designer has about three to five years of experience in the real world. The media designer is more than five years, five to 10. The senior designer is somebody that has at least 10 years of experience, 10 years of work experience that is really good at coming up with ideas and that can also lead a team of designers. This is the, the senior designer, somebody that can actually take a lot of responsibility, uh, can lead or solve a project from concept, from briefing to final execution, and also can deal with the client directly. The big issue is that in the industry, a lot of designers are calling themselves art directors or there are companies looking for an art director. But what they are actually looking for is for a senior designer, which is a different profession. As you see, the art director is managing people, has experience working on set. The senior designer is a designer. It needs to design. In most companies, when they look for an art director that knows how to design, it's usually a senior designer with leadership skills. Oh, again, is this the work of an art director or a senior designer? If you end up being promoted as an art director, your job changes from doing the stuff you really like, which is designing, to being a manager of a team of people. You will have to have different set of skills. This sounds great on paper, like, oh yeah, I wanna be a director, I wanna brag about my title, I wanna make more money, uh, I want people to do what I say. That, that sounds great for your ego, it's fantastic, but trust me, this is such a different uh, reality from expectation, is really, really different because you think you're gonna be sitting on your table, people is gonna come to you with designs and you're gonna be, great, I don't like this, change that. Awesome, make me a coffee. That's why I got in. That's what you think is going to be, but it's not that way. If the day has eight hours, you probably will be sitting in five hours of meetings every day, why? Because if you become a director, an art director or a design director in the design field I'm talking about, you get a lot of responsibility. You basically get unrealistic responsibility. You are the center point of a lot of projects and you don't design anymore. Just forget about designing. You will never ever design again. And I know some companies will tell you, yeah, no, but this is a hands-on role. You're going to design stuff. True, maybe there is a company or two where you can actually design and I, when I worked as an art director, I did design a little bit, but it was 
on the weekends because during the week I was consistently interrupted all the time because you think you're just gonna be overseeing three projects but every project has a lot of faces and everyone has to come to you because if something goes wrong you the director you are the one to blame Soon enough, you will realize that the company keeps throwing more shit at you and then you have no time at all for anything. You don't have time to design, you don't have time to think properly, you don't have time to deal with people's emotions. You just wanna sit down and relax and do your design work that you really like doing in the past. You will realize that finding designers that can do the design as you do it is very hard and you will have different type of designers you will have designers with a big ego you will have designers who are easy to manage you will have designers with big ambition you will have designers that are i don't know lazy you have designers that are completely incompetent so how do you deal with these people not being a douchebag your job is really being a psychologist you really have to Learn how to point people in the right direction to tell them this actually is not good work, you have to do it this way. So how do you do it without hurting someone else's feelings? So it's a, it's a really different profession and this is what people don't tell you when you are signing up for your art director position. Oh, and again, who did design this project? An art director or a senior designer? Even more, the best designers you know, guys, the best designers right now in 2021, they don't call themselves directors, art directors, uh, design director, they don't. They call themselves designers. I'm talking about Paul Asher, Michael Beirut, Stefan Sagmeister, all these truly talented designers right now that are older than 50, all of them. Oh, again, is this the work of an art director or a senior designer? All the amazing work I just saw you in this video because it was really fascinating work, the type of work you see and you are like, wow, that looks amazing, I wanna design this. This work is done by senior designers. This work is done by Pentagram Design. This is what they say about themselves in their about section. So at Pentagram Design, the biggest company in the world, they all call themselves designers. They don't call themselves art directors and they all design. Even 60, 70, whatever the age, they are very different ages. They all keep designing today. And that's why they do such a mature, beautiful work because they've been designing for a long time. They didn't stop at the age of 30 and they started pointing people what to do because you stop at your best time at 30 or 35 or a 40, you stop designing there, you stop evolving. A lot of people, at least this is what I experienced, they think, oh, I've designed enough, it's time for me to, to, to direct people. No, you haven't designed enough, dude. You are not there yet. Your work is not great. It's not as great as Pentagram Design. So to sum up, guys, if you end up being promoted as uh, art director or design director, and you end up being stuck in a lot of meetings, you don't have time to design or to think, to come up with creative solutions that are really great, and you feel like when a project comes out and it's, it's beautifully done, you feel like a fraud because you haven't done anything really, it was the designers doing it, or the photographer, or whoever you work with did it. Remember this video that I explained coming from a position of being an art director myself, that's what I studied in university, even though I never liked the, the title, and I worked as art director in big companies and I know the frustration, I can tell you, the term art director, design director is highly overrated. It's not as good as it seems. 
and we designers for the most part at least this is what i've seen we designers that love to design and want to get good at it and have great work in our portfolios or in our career we want to be designers not uh, managers of people so that's all for today guys thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next video